All right, so this week I had one of the most amazing automotive weeks that I've had basically ever. I can't wait to tell you guys about it. Get this. Whoa, 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 Rich. Right here, this uh, non-disclosure agreement. I'm just going to skip to the bottom. It basically says, don't say shit about shit to anyone. All right. All right there, bud. So this past week, I was asked to help out on an actual TV set, and uh, something I've never done before and never actually thought that would happen. Um, it was really cool to see the behind the scenes of an actual production company, um, all the work that goes in behind there. Now, I, I did sign a non-disclosure agreement, so I'm not allowed to talk about what cars, what show, what, what we actually did. But uh, we got to work on some brand new cars, we got to work on some uh, vintage cars, and basically just going over, making sure that the cars were ready for the, the, the show itself, making sure that they're safe, and, and uh, the stunts that they were gonna do with that, and uh, had a really good time. Um, I, we started the YouTube channel a couple years ago there, and I'm, I'm in front of the camera here, and it's all small stuff. Uh, we're starting to get uh, a little more attention. We're starting to buy some better equipment and, and realizing what's all involved in that, but nothing to the scale of what was going on uh, behind the scenes here. And uh, it was a whole different crowd, too, because we're, we're out in the country here, and, and we've got beak, uh, curved beaks on our hats, and, and we drive trucks. But the production company's from the big city and, and hanging out with uh, a lot of young film students that that were working on set and got to be involved in their conversations and, and I, I genuinely had a very very good time so I didn't get much stuff done in the shop I had to work at night still uh, finishing customer stuff and um, uh, it, it was very very busy we got a lot done but um, that brings me to the TV aspect on it and the reality of it uh, the show that I was working on genu genuinely is uh, I, I guess you would call a reality TV show and um, the, the the people involved in that are are generally I do believe that a lot of it is reality um, but uh, we were also contacted by a production company about six months ago and they wanted to pitch us to Discovery and Velocity and they did. Velocity came back and, and wanted some stuff from us and, we, and the Boss Garage did make it all the way to the top. We did hear from the big wigs and, and uh, whether they were involved in, in uh, or if they were interested in sending a crew out to hang out in the shop. Now I only have a 32 3200 square foot shop and they wanted to send four guys out with mics and cameras and all that fun stuff and and I was really getting worked up about okay what do they exactly want and and what they actually wanted was pumping out a car for every episode that they wanted it was for a certain amount of episodes they were only going to be here a certain amount of time to film it and after careful thinking and consideration uh, uh, the boss garage we said no so if you've been following any of the automotive channels online or on on tv uh, you're probably well aware that things are kind of changing uh, to everybody's surprise surprise aaron kaufman left gas monkey garage at china left wheeler's dealer and uh, um, you might be wondering why oh he wasn't getting paid enough or, or whatever and we can guess as to why they left but uh, just like me this past week we signed a non-disclosure agreement and we'll never find out why um, we have uh, we can all make our assumptions and we have our own and and I'm just starting to get into the uh, automotive entertainment section of it now we've got our YouTube channel um, uh, you might go back to when we met uh, Steve Darnell from Welder Up. They were in Toronto there, so we, we checked them out. And we, I, I asked the question, uh, would you do it again? You know, where uh, these guys in front of the camera are no doubt. They are extremely talented artists and mechanics and master mechanics. There's no doubt that Aaron knows his stuff and, and that China knows his stuff. And, and the production uh, entertainment side of it takes that all away. Um, you lose creative control. Uh, we have to pump out these cars and these stupid deadlines that it just doesn't make any sense. And I, I don't watch a lot of it because I get frustrated. Um, people think that, oh, you can build this car for five grand and, and I can flip it for 80 grand and you can do it in two weeks. It doesn't happen that way. And a lot of corners are cut. There's for every, every one person on screen, there's probably 50 behind the camera that are in production and, and lighting and art and, and also other mechanics that are doing work behind the scenes that don't get any of the glory of it because in reality it is impossible to do what they're doing on the show. Um, and, and I'm glad that uh, we, we tried that venture. I'm glad that I had the opportunity to work on set. 
but it's very interesting to see what still has to be done to bring that show to to uh, um, to air. Where this channel's going, uh, there's a lot of stuff happening. Very happy about that. But for now, we still have creative control. We still have uh, a cool projects in mind that uh, we're gonna spend time building. But you can't just pump out a vehicle every month and say, here it is. Uh, if you do, uh, I, I have been guilty of it where we had to make a video working late at night, just okay, put it together, make it look like it's running so we can get that shot. And But then next day we gotta take it, take certain parts apart again because we have to actually build it right. And that's why it takes so long to build a vehicle that you're proud of. Now we're getting into the, the sponsors and that for uh, building the Audi. And, and if you really go behind the scenes, the amount of work it takes to get one show going and the amount of editing and setup and prep, like there's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that, that it takes to get this stuff going. Um, we're happy where we are right now. We still have creative control. We're just taking one project at a time and uh, or, or like uh, they overlap a little bit, but it does take a long time to build a quality piece of equipment and, and you can spew it out and, and okay, it's done and over with, but uh, we're happy where we are right now. The vehicles that I've built are all still on the road now. Customers are happy, good relationships with them. Um, we drove one of our projects across uh, to the States there. Um, the dualies driving around town, and, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud to put my name on something, proud that you guys can recognize it as going down the street. And uh, I don't know if these guys on the automotive channels are able to say the same thing. Uh, if you look in behind the scenes, especially Gas Monkey, where they build a specific car for a specific client, they show delivering the car, they, they rip around on it, it's perfect, yeah, thank you very much. And then two seasons later, it's in the background, and, and you can see it's, it, it, it's whoops, that, that, that made the shot when it really wasn't supposed to. And uh, we, we, we put some eggs in our, uh, in our channels too. It's like, okay, well, there's, there's something in the background. Just, just keep an eye out for that. So we have some fun with that, but I don't think that they actually mean for that to happen. It's just the reality is that most of these cars are not road legal because they're slapped together for just an entertainment side. And I can see the frustration that, that these mechanics have saying, oh, you built that. It's like, yeah, but I don't really want my name on that because the production manager got on my case and said, you know what, we this has to be done filming in four hours, so get it done. So um, I appreciate the roadkill guys. That, that, that is uh, a, 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 a whole other avenue of it where we're building junk, but we also noticed that like the one dirt every day, the Roadrunner was at one of the shows and, and everything is done perfect. Um, everything's tied up, the, the zip ties are, and, the, and the connectors are all spaced evenly and it's done by a professional. Every weld has a diamond plate over, every weld is perfect. And that's the stuff that you don't see where um, they have the old fuel lines dangling out, but they're just there for show. Uh, again, it's an entertainment aspect and, and we're hoping that the boss garage stays entertaining, but we also want to build quality vehicles at the same time. So um, nothing's perfect, everything's kind of a one-off, so we're gonna run into issues for for sure, but uh, I'm glad we have creative control. Um, and sorry we didn't get to make another video or update on, on our projects, but uh, this week was one of those weeks I couldn't turn down. Made a lot of contacts, made a lot of friends, uh, some really cool jobs. Got to work on a, on a glue stick car, got to work on a Hello Friend car, some old, some new. But yeah, I can't say too much because I did sign that non-disclosure. So um, if the producers are keeping an eye on me, making sure I don't leak anything, thanks for the opportunity. Hope to work uh, together again. And uh, hopefully your lawyers don't have to contact me for this video. So that being said, um, we want to know what you guys enjoy watching. Do you guys enjoy the entertainment aspect of it or the technical aspect of it? I don't enjoy somebody picking up a grinder and screaming and throwing against the wall. That's just not me. Um, I like the funny aspect of it. Um, let us know what you think. Um, also tell us how we can improve the Boss Garage. Uh, we understand that the audio is a little bit of an issue, but uh, we're slowly upgrading our equipment. It takes uh, a lot of money to get that going and uh, we're slowly getting there. But uh, the, the other side of it is that I don't have a crew following me around that takes good care of the equipment. I, I'm actually pretty rough on my stuff. I, I'm working, my hands are dirty. Um, I, I think I vacuum out the mic hole in my phone about once a week because I am working on the cars. This is me. So until we have a full crew following us around, I, I hope that never happens. Um, 
then uh, it is what it is. But let us know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and, and for sticking around. Um, I'm A lot of things have been kind of going on and we're excited to see where we'll be uh, a year from now. So here we go. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider picking up a tape boss to make those projects go faster so you got more time to watch YouTube. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.